Day gift. <laughs> you remember the Mother's Day gift that you never received from me? I've been wondering about that. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And she, was, uh, she was out of my will for a while. Oh, <laughs> I know. I'm just, yeah. It's, uh. So you remember those um, autograph books that I brought oh, home? Oh, yeah. I yeah. forgot about them. From well, junior high and senior high. Well, part A, and I know you don't have your special contact lens, so it's going to be hard to see it, and so I can tell you what they are. I made some photos for you, and this first one is like a collage of, oh, maybe about uh, nine or ten of your friends' messages to you. And I is can, that a picture of me then? No, that was a picture of one of your friends <gasps> oh, that was in your book. What? She lived with us. And she went to a Bethany Fellowship to train to be a missionary. I think she went to South America, but she rented a room for my folks. Hmm. And uh, I forget her name now. Uh, I can read it to you. Yeah. Okay. So hers says uh, it's Belinda. Oh yeah. Dear Edith, I love you now and will forever. You may change, but I never. Times may come and we may part, but times can never change my heart. Your friend, Belinda, love and happiness. Yeah, that um, like her. Then the, uh, here's one from Phyllis McChesney. Oh, I've known her since kindergarten. Oh, wow. June 10th, 1938. Dear Edith, may you sit on the tack of success and rise rapidly. <laughs> Another longtime friend, uh, B. Johnson, yeah. Beatrice. Yeah, she was a bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. Dear Edith, in your golden chain of friendship, count me as a link, your pal. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Beatrice beautiful. Johnson. 